Okay, good morning, everybody. We're going to continue with our classes today. Today, we're going to continue with a class of a science. So everybody must have to get your book. And we are going to stay on page number 228 of your book of uh, science. Page 228, okay? Hi, Emily. How are you? Nico, on your on your camera. Okay. We're going to continue to see or to talk about I can, to talk about the type of clouds. Okay, we are going uh, to read the page, and even we're going to read the slideshow so prepare for you uh, for the class. Okay, on page number two hundred twenty-eight. Remember, we're going to have another class at 1020 or uh, at 10 o'clock, sorry. Okay, so please, Dylan and Felix, turn on your camera. Okay, let's see on page number 228. And we are going to see what is a type of clouds. What are clouds? That is a question. What are clouds? Please pay attention. Sadly, clouds are not made up of candy, cloth, or cotton, wool, and unfortunately, you can't advance on them. Clouds are actually made of tiny droplets of water. In the highest clouds, these tiny droplets change to ice crystals. What clouds tell us? Different types of clouds tell us different things about weather. We are going to look at the following categories. We have cirrus, cumulus, stratus, nimbus. Those are types of clouds. The first one, cirrus. Cirrus clouds are the highest form of clouds. They look like paintbrush strokes across the sky. They are made of up made up of ice crystals and are above 18,000 feet. They are normally white and predict pleasant weather. You can see the picture right here. Cumulus. Cumulus literacy means a heap or pile. Cumulus clouds are known as fair weather and clouds they are fluffy, fluffy and tend to be seen as sunny day. Most a form of cumulus clouds will not produce any rain or snow. Larger form can produce some rain shower, but these tend not to be heavy. Stratus. These are the most common form of clouds in Britain. They are low layers of clouds and tend to act as a block to the sun. They are found up to 6,500 6, feet from the ground. They can be any shade from white to dark gray. They often mean rain. And nimbus. Nimbus is a word which can be added to other types of clouds. Example, 
cumulonimbus. Nimbus are clouds which bring us snow and rain. Cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus are storm clouds. They can reach enormous sights. The rain they, the rain they produce considerably and dramatically. They can also produce snow or hailstones and cause thunder and lightning storms. In other countries, they can even cause tornadoes. Okay, we're going to have an exercise. And you're going to answer from your page number 228. Okay, let's see everybody to the page number 228. If you see, you have one, two, three, four, five uh, types of, of clouds, okay? And it says in the book, it says in the book. Roland, can you start to read? Microphone. Types of clouds. When you look at clouds in the sky, you may notice that they can look different from day to day. Different cloud types form depending on the type of water present. Clouds that form at different states in the atmosphere have different names. Here are five common types of clouds. Okay, number one. Zeros. Wait, number one, uh, Valenzuela. Zero. Yes, are you listening? You? Zero. High level clouds form more than six kilometers above the ground. This region overlaps the region for mid altitude clouds. Cirrus clouds are high altitude clouds that are often thin, wispy, and white. Okay, good. Number two, Abel. Cumulonimbus. Clouds that grow vertically have rising air inside them. The bases of these clouds may be low as one kilometer above the ground. The rising air may push the tops of these clouds higher than, than 12 kilometers vertical. Clouds can cause thunderstorms. Okay, very good. Matute, number three. I'm on page 228. Number three. Alto cumulus. Alto is the word. Alto cumulus. The base of mid level clouds are between <clears throat> two kilometers and seven kilometers above the ground. Altocumulus clouds, clouds are mid-level clouds that look like small puffy balls. The bottoms of the clouds can look dark because sunlight may not reach them. Hey, thank you. Very good. Number three, uh, four, Felix. Oh, <laughs> Number four, Felix. 
Stratus. Lower level clouds are often seen less than two kg about the ground stratus cloud are low level clouds that that cover to whole sky they look dark because little sunlight get get through the layer of clouds okay good and the last one guardiola En peleando. Isabel, ayuda. Guardiola, the last one. Fog. Fog is a cloud at ground level as air near the ground cools. Water vapor condenses into tiny droplets and forms a cloud at or near the ground. As more droplets form and get larger, the fog appears thicker. Okay, very good. Let's continue for the next page. Um, let's see, on page number 229. Continue reading, Juan Diego. Sometimes many sites of clouds may appear at the same time. Combination of clouds can help determine, determine the weather at a given place and time. Clouds interacting with landforms can also determine the weather. Water from large bodies of water, like oceans, evaporate and condense to form clouds. Tall landforms, such as mountains, push the clouds up higher into the atmosphere where it is color clouds can all continue 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 nico Yep. Clouds can hold less moisture at lower temperatures. As the clouds rise, they release their moisture as precipitation. This often causes wet weather patterns high in the mountains. Okay, very good. Let's see to answer those questions that appear on the page number 229. The number one said, or in this case, number nine said, write the step, what? Write the steps taken from water vapor to sleet. And the number 10 is, how clouds and weather related? related. Answer those questions, both questions. You have five minutes to answer those questions. Then number nine, write the steps taken from water vapor to sleep, sleep. And then number 10 said, how are clouds and weather related? I will, no voy a repetir otra vez. La regla primordial aquí es todos con el, la cámara encendida, todos con el micrófono apagado. Así que por favor los que tienen cámara apagada, enciéndanla. Gracias.
Come on, people. Work. Okay, finish up the button. Show me your finger. Okay, let's continue. Um, let's see. I will help you with the answers because we don't have much time, okay? With the number 10, write the steps takes from water vapor to sleet. So the answer, the answer of that question is water vapor forms ice crystals. Ice crystals fall through fall through warmer air and melt near the ground the melted drops fall through colder air and freeze again now from the number 10 you have a lot of different answers so a possible answer is how are colds and weather related that is the question so the answer is precipitations falls from clouds and precipitations is one condition that defines the weather. So, what are we going to do right now? We are going to answer these questions. We know this one, no. This one. Copy these questions in your notebook and answer it. The number one said, which type of clouds is the lowest laying? You can use your book to answer, okay? You can use your book to answer these questions. What is name of the highest type of the cloud? Which type of clouds means there is a storm, a storm coming? What are clouds made of? Off? And what do serious clouds look like? All these answers, you can find it. Uh, the answer of all these questions, you can find it on the page number 228. 
تمام copy the questions and start to answer you can answer it from the page 228 and 229 also Lying means like um, acostado, um, tendido, um, echado, se podría decir. Okay. Please tell me when you finish to copy the questions and please tell me when you finish to answer the questions. Number one, which type of clouds is the, is the lowest laying? What is name of the highest type of clouds? Which type of clouds means there is a storm coming? What are clouds made up of? And what do serious clouds look like? Okay, finish copy the questions. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Answer, obviously. Answer those questions and we're going to discuss it also, okay? We're going to discuss each question. <clears throat> Sorry. It's very good to see you all in this class. I have 24 students here. It's really good to see you all. And it's good to see you to all work.
page number Okay, we only have 10 minutes. We're going to answer the questions, okay? So please try to copy in another page, number one and the answer, okay? We know it, that is the answer of the questions. Okay, let's see. Question number one, which type of clouds is the lowest laying? So the answer is, which type of clouds is the lowest laying? Stratus. That is the answer. Check your answer, people. Number two. What is name of the highest type of clouds? What is name of the highest type of clouds? Your answer has to be serious. That is the answer. Check your answer, people. Check your answer. Number three. Which type of cloud means there is a storm coming? So the answer is cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus. Four. What are clouds made up of? And the answer is Clouds are made up of tiny droplets of water. In the higher forms of clouds, the drops can change to ice crystals. That is the answer. And I see you copied the answer because you didn't answer. Ha, ha, ha. I check you, people. Yeah. And the last one. What do serious clouds look like? And the answer is, they look like paintbrush strokes in the sky. That is the answer. That is the answer. So everybody, everybody finish to copy the answers? No, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. We have seven minutes yet. We still have seven minutes. Enjoy your meal, Emily. Ricardo, you finished copy the answers? Okay. Show me to the camera, please. Ricardo. Close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. Nice. Very nice, good, excellent. Jose Manuel, you finished your answer? And corrected the answers? Okay, nice. Andrea, your camera on. Good, Emily. Excellent. Excellent, Emily. Good, good. So, 
how you show me a cell phone? Excellent, Roland. Excellent, excellent, Matute. Excellent, excellent people. Everybody finish to copy the answers. Felix, you finish? Nice. Nico? Excellent. Uh, who is this? Uh, Fatima, nice. Nice, Fatima. Nice, Fatima. Nice, Leda. <clears throat> Show me, Andrea. Excellent, Anna. Very good, Anna. Good, Anna. Excellent, Anna. Me too, I'm happy. OWO, I don't know what is what it means. OWO. Okay, uh, people, we have less than five minutes. Okay, I hope everybody finished to copy the answers. Okay, for this week, we don't have a science assignment in the platform, okay? That will come for the next week. So at 10 o'clock, please connect again for math. We have a new topic. I will share with you some videos and we're going to work on some pages of the book. Okay? Sorry, see you in a few minutes for math.